Hi there, we're going to prove this neat little graph theory result. Every closed odd walk contains an odd cycle. You should know what walks and cycles are already. I'll leave relevant links in the description. A closed odd walk is a walk that ends where it started and traverses an odd number of edges, so it has an odd length. If we've got a walk like that, it has to have an odd cycle. And this result is used in the proof that a graph is bipartite if and only if it has no odd cycles. So it is a useful result. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving that result about bipartite graphs, although in that lesson, we don't take this result for granted. We actually prove it during the larger proof. But I want to make this lesson dedicated to this result specifically. Enough dilly-dallying, let's get into it. The proof is laid out here, and I'll just walk you through the details. I know I said no more dilly-dallying, just a couple more things real quick. I want to point out that a closed even walk doesn't have to contain a cycle at all all. So odd walks are special in this way. For example, if we have just a single vertex here, let's just imagine we're creating a closed even walk. We could go to some other vertex and this is a walk. So we're allowed to, you know, go wherever we want. We can traverse edges multiple times. We could leave the first vertex and then go right back along the same edge. That's not a cycle, but it is a closed even walk. So clearly closed even walks do not have to have cycles. So closed odd walks, they are pretty special. Now I just wanna also give you a quick sketch of why this is true. Just give you the intuition before we see the proof. A closed odd walk might look something like this. It's intersecting itself a couple times since walks can repeat vertices. And what you have to notice is that a closed odd walk can be broken down into cycles. It consists of cycles. We see sort of three cycles in this closed odd walk. And at least one of those cycles has to be odd itself. If they were all even, then since they make up the whole walk, the whole walk would have to be even. But we're saying the walk is odd. So for it to be odd, at least one of the cycles that it can be broken into has to be odd. Okay, now let's get into the proof. This is going to be induction on the length L of the walk. We start with the basis step. The shortest possible closed odd walk has a length of three. And the only walk like that happens to be the cycle graph, C3, which obviously contains an odd cycle because it is an odd cycle. Quickly, let's go over why is this the only closed odd walk of length three? Well, a closed odd walk, it's gotta start at some vertex, then it's gotta go to some other vertex. It certainly can't just return to the first vertex and close the walk off, cause that would be a length of two, and we're saying that we have an odd walk. So we have to go to at least one other vertex and then in order to have a length of three, we have to immediately return to the starting point. And so the only closed odd walk of that smallest length three is the cycle graph C3. So that's the basis step. Here is our induction step, which begins with our induction hypothesis. We assume that our claim is true for closed odd walks shorter than let's say K. Then we'll let W be a closed odd walk with a length of K. Now, if we can prove that this closed odd walk of length K also must have an odd cycle, we will be done the proof. There's one really easy possibility here. Perhaps W has no repeated vertex other than its first and last. And if that's the case, then W itself is the odd cycle. So if our closed odd walk W has this starting vertex and that's the only vertex that is repeated, then W looks something like this and is itself an odd cycle. 
and we'd be done. Hey, it has an odd cycle because it is an odd cycle. So that only leaves one other possibility that we have to address, which is if W has some other vertices repeated besides just the first and last. So let's say we have this vertex V that is repeated in our closed odd walk W. So W might look something like this. Just make sure it intersects itself a couple times. And perhaps this here is our vertex V. Now, there's nothing restricting V from, in fact, being the starting and ending vertex of the walk. The walk could repeat that vertex additional times, aside from just the start and the end. This addresses that possibility, too. There's nothing super special about it. What you have to notice, though, is if W does have this repeated vertex V, other than just starting and ending at the same vertex, then we can think of W as consisting of two VV walks. Let me highlight them in two different colors, looking at our rough sketch of what it might look like. We've got this VV walk, and let me actually make the highlighter just a little bit thinner. So we got this VV walk, goes from V to V, and then we've got this VV walk. So W consists of two VV walks. Similar to the logic we were saying earlier when I gave you the intuition behind this result, one of these VV walks has to be odd because L is odd, the total length of W. W consists of these two walks, and W is odd, so the only way that's going to happen is if one of these VV walks that makes W up is itself odd. For our picture, let's just say that the odd walk is this one here highlighted in green. The key insight we have to make to finish the proof is that this closed odd walk has to be shorter than W, because it's just part of W. W is made up of this guy and this guy, and so this one that we're assuming is odd, because one of them has to be odd, it's got to be shorter than W, because it's just part of W. And since it's shorter than W, that means its length is less than K, and so our induction hypothesis applies. It's got to have an odd cycle. So the closed odd walk, the one highlighted in, in uh, green, it's got to contain an odd cycle, and of course, that odd cycle is also in W. So W has to have an odd cycle. So that's the proof. Hope it made sense. Let me know if you have any questions or requests down in the comments. Once again, every closed odd walk contains an odd cycle, and that's how you prove it. See through big glass Distracting everything Lined in rows of